Oh, 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 oh. Quick run down. We'll stand here. You can't jump, it's too shallow. Happy. What's up guys, it's your man MP and today we're gonna go over this video that recently went viral just a few hours ago on TikTok of this man trying to do something sweet and involve his daughter in the proposal to his soon to be bride but unfortunately things went horribly wrong and I'll also show you guys the full clip and we'll see how the couple's doing afterwards so let's get into it Oh, oh, Quick run down. We'll stand here. You can't jump, it's too shallow. Happy? All right, so that is the clip that recently went viral on TikTok, but it is not the full clip that I'm going to show you. But just to give you guys some context, this is Luke who's doing the proposal, his daughter Harpy and the bride-to-be is Stephanie and they are with Stephanie's parents. And yes, that sound that you heard at the end is Luke jumping off of the bridge into the water. And it's about a 20-foot drop into about three feet of water. That's why the mom was telling him, you can't jump, it's too shallow. But of course, Luke didn't give a fuck at that point. Oh, 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 oh. Quick run down. We'll stand here. You can't jump, it's too shallow. Happy? Happy, you stay away. No. I can see it. Can you Yo, see stop it? there. Um, I think it's your right hand. Here, come to me, Mummy. <laughs> this did not just happen. He got it. He got, got it? it. Yep. Right, let's get off <laughs> All right, so guys, there was the full clip. Luke did jump off, and you see Dad there. Luckily, he kept a cool head, and he's just looking at the ring the entire time, and Luke was able to get the ring. And I know a lot of people want to blame the kid, but honestly, guys, when I proposed, I also dropped my ring, believe it or not, and it's also on video. And I had one of those boxes that has a hole for the ring. So sometimes it just happens. But guys, this is a great video. Like, you see the bride react. She tried to catch the ring. You see Luke diving over the pier. Mom's videotaping. Dad is focused, keeping an eye on the ring. Once they get the ring, I love when mom says, All right, let's get off the pier. Like, yes, get off of that fucking pier. So now they have a really cool story to tell. I'm going to let you guys hear it in their own words. But as always, I appreciate you guys watching. If you see the subscribe, like, and notification button, hesitating to get the ring that they just dropped off a pier, make sure you give them a push. Thanks again for watching. Wants a part two, and we didn't realize it was going to go um, viral in less than 24 hours. Um, so that's the ring. I don't know if you can see it. I put a picture in. You can't see. I'm so wondering, regardless of the price, I would have. Same thing. <laughs> um... And <laughs> it was about a six meter drop because basically I had the time. To think about it, visualize it midair after I had heard our good friend Andrea say that it was far too shallow. So I had to sacrifice the left side of my body and starfish. I have an earache a little bit still. He lost his stretcher, so we did lose mm. something else in the jump. Oh. Um, the jetty is in plastic. Uh, the it. jetty is in Harvey Bay for everybody who guessed right. And we will insert a photo of the jetty just to prove how high it was. Very low tide. Um, <clears throat> second of all, it wasn't Harpy's fault at all. She's just a very helpful, very, very helpful little girl. And everyone's like, why would you do it with a kid around? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Luke wanted to essentially ask Harper as well because Luke is actually Harper's stepdad. I'm so committing to both of them, so I feel like both of them should be present. Yeah, so it was a it was an actual 
shared moment for all of us. <laughs> Um, Andrea was really calm. Um, I blanked out. I don't remember the majority of it. I didn't look at Luke in the ocean. I didn't even, the last, the only thing I remember is Luke coming out of the ocean. We didn't get a photo after because I'm also... Everyone was in shock. I'm also <laughs> pregnant and hungry and really needed to pee after such a <laughs> traumatic event. So he ran straight for the shower because it was a bit cold. Yep. We were due for breakfast. <laughs> and we were hungry. So we just moved on and laughed about it. Tie a string, get some fishing, fishing line. line. We spoke about it, it was the thought. They had all planned it behind my but back and for days and days it was. Kids are quick, much quicker than you think. I didn't realize she'd actually already grabbed it and got a, got a grip, so. And it was and a I didn't yell at her and she was distraught, so. And she still talks about it to this yes. day. She's only two and she's very, very smart. And she still Sweetest talks girl. about having to jump in after it. And oh no, but we had to explain to her that it was kissed by the fish and the mermaid and it's okay, it was blessed um, by the ocean. And... <laughs> yes. Um, that one will go down in the history books for us. Yes, but they were... It was a running joke behind my back before they did it about dropping the ring. Mm. For As a you couple can imagine. of days. It's like, imagine if we dropped the ring, haha. <laughs> and I guess we did it to ourselves because our uh, motto in life is classic stitch up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when we got together, like three weeks after we met, we got matching tattoos on the back of our ankles that say classic stitch up. Wait. So, <laughs> um, so that's, it's funny. Everyone thinks that we should keep running and move like it's a big God saying no, but to nah. us, it's <laughs> just funny. It makes for a funny story and we like funny stories. Even if we had have lost it, it would have, there would have been humor in it. Just sadness to. Oh yeah, for sure. But. At the same time, we wouldn't suggest doing it on a pier where no. you can't see the water, like the clearness, because it was it was in Harvey Bay. We don't, oh. We're not from there. No, if we were home, gone. Wouldn't have done it in Gold Coast or Brisbane. And we're lucky mm. that my dad has a good eye and he was the The only bad, one who kept his head cool. <laughs> the only ones that were... <laughs> yeah, because I certainly wasn't looking uh. for it. I, I don't even remember looking down the crack, to be honest. I don't the only yeah. thing I remember oh, after I, that is breakfast. I did have a sense of clarity. My phone and wallet made it out of my pockets right pressures. after the fucking thongs went. <laughs> yeah, so that split second before he actually hits the water is where he ran, his thong slipped off. And Other then, than that, hardcore parkour. And then he actually dropped, and that's the one thing I was looking after was the keys, because I was scared that he put everything that he had in his pocket and then I didn't want him to drop the keys or something down there too. But all in all, it ended well. Mm. Thanks for the sushi kiss. <laughs> and we got the ring back. All is well that ends well. All right, uh, come uh, here. Yeah. This. And this is Harpy. Say hi, I'm Harpy. <laughs> and it wasn't her fault and she we will we'll never blame her for it. Hey, Bubba, do you yeah, remember the ring? Do you the remember ring? the ring? Yeah. yeah. I'm stuck in the water. Stuck in the water. <laughs> yeah. Oh. That's okay, hey. Yeah. Because it was kissed yeah. by the fish and the mermaids. Was it? Was it kissed by the fish and the mermaids? Yeah. yeah. Can you say bye? Say thank you. Bye.